Got another one, did a meal about the other one Praise God for the blessings I'm getting I could have been dead with the other ones I got the sauce, I got the juice Got me feeling like the plug or something I leave him in awe with what I can do I feel like a boss when I'm in a room Cause I'm with the Static, 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 static None of you really want static None of my haters want static Y'all wasn't ready for static When it becoming a habit I'm feeling like static, 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 static None of you really want steady None of my haters want steady Y'all wasn't ready for steady When it becoming a heavy None of you really want steady Listen, it's power, not magic I got them on edge, jagged Yeah, 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 yeah Good evening, YouTube I am your host The King Shadow This is another episode of No Excuse Reaction Reactions, reactions, reactions. <laughs> so this episode It's another one from the Peace Talk I'm sorry It do get long winded on there So I cut a 30 minute clip To <clears throat> A 15 minute clip I'm not even going to play the whole 15 But it's just This is a question Frankly I didn't know People still was pulling this shit Okay, there was a point in time, like a couple years back, where girls started pulling, you know, you gotta wait for a month before we fuck, or you gotta wait 90 days before, you know, you, you can fuck with them. And you know what I mean? <laughs> before you get down, slappy slappy, the hunka chunka, the wild mambo, wild card stud, uh, Poconos, hide the sausage, hide the salami. Into the cave, you know what I mean. It, 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 anyways, <laughs> I'm not trying to just say the word because you know the algorithm will kick me down. I ain't trying to throw that because uh, in one of the clips, this nigga pops it off four times, and so I, he's he already killed the limit for me. So <laughs> you feel me? I'm not a top channel yet, so I ain't trying to get my ass belted under everybody. Okay, <laughs> so. That 90 day rule came out about in the 90s, okay? And girls will get out of relationships and then they, they will take the next relationship, they hear about it, it's like, ooh, I should do that. And a lot of girls were doing that just to play niggas and shit. So, we will have this little conversation. I'm break it down a little bit. Welcome to King Talk, everybody. If this is your first time, make sure you hit that like button. That's what we do when we come in over here. Um, shout out to the sponsor. I think that's it. I'm the housekeeper. All right, gentlemen, y'all ready? Yes, sir. Yeah. I'm not humble there. You got a small emergency. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Got you, got you. I see in the back chat. Mm -hmm. I hit that like button again if you haven't already. Our first topic of the night. First topic of the night. As a guy, do you take a woman seriously if she makes you wait as a guy do you take a woman seriously if she makes you wait what woman you said what woman yeah man is she what value does she bring is she worth it bro it's a great great distinction yeah great well, distinction. yeah i'm just saying bro like you know what i'll say i'll value it if it's authentic you can tell when a girl is just doing it because she just watched a movie or that's really the life she living. You know what I mean? So if it's authentic, yeah, I think it's, I'll take that. I'll wait. Yeah, I can value that. All right. Hey, uh, Trigger Mike, I know you probably might not be aware, but like Ricky Williams has this pause that he does. So, yeah. <laughs> no, I, was, I was good. I was good. No right. I'm Okay, well. Okay, so you see. It's the Peep Network King's Talk. So it's all guys on the panel. But before you ladies run away, figure it out. Okay. Now, the question was 
do a guy take a woman seriously if they make them wait? Me personally, fuck no. Okay? If you want serious, for me, yo, let's just put it out there for the true motherfuckers out in the world, the real motherfuckers, okay? If you want to make personal connection and you want to get to know someone and all that shit, throw all cards on the table. Both of y'all. Slap all that shit on the table. I want to see you butt ass nigga without all that false shit real quick. Okay? I, I would tear it off you if I have to, but I want to see the real you. You feel me? I want to feel the real you. I want to see soul, goddammit. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> okay? Everything that come out your mouth, that's not what I'm hearing. I'm hearing your mannerisms. I'm hearing your, your angle. I'm hearing what you say and do. You feel me? There's a lot more to it. Okay? Sex is just sex. Okay? Let's exercise with, you know, a bonus. As one as uh truly say up there in a second. Cause cause it's more of a personal connections. You feel me? Understanding your connections, ladies. Okay. So yes, it's understandable that there is carnal urges. Women can get too. Girls got buttons just like niggas got buttons. And our buttons are just real easy to hit. Girls buttons, you feel me? You gotta, you know, you gotta know the, the Rubik's Cube code to open the door. You know what I mean? <laughs> so let's keep going. I'm just putting it out there, uh, YouTube, right. Debbie Bo. You might think you're famous to jump in. I take part. Yeah. So sure. just, I mean, typically everybody's about an average, like one and a half second. Just get Ricky at about three and a half seconds. Mm -hmm. Got you. <laughs> just make sure you say. Hey, one time he fucked me up. One time he had one that was like five seconds. I like, I thought you was done. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right, nevertheless, let's get back to it. Uh, do you take a woman seriously if she makes you wait? Well, I'll speak at once, y'all. Y'all, I'm saying, I, like I said, it's all. It's like a, to me, it's all dependent on the lady, man. You know what I'm saying? Again, you should be peeping game from from the video if you are, if you uh if you're trying to mess with her. You know what I'm saying? Is this is this the routine? Is it like you, uh, Trigger Mike said? Is it genuine? You know what I'm saying? Is it genuine? Is it real? Is this something? You know what I'm saying? But like I said, that that's when it comes. Like, hopefully, you've been watching that lady and how she moved before you even holler at her, bro. Like. Like I said, man, a lot of y'all not dating intently anyway. Y'all just out here trying to stick and move. And if you're trying to stick and move, hey, that's what you're trying to do. You know what I'm saying? But if you're really trying to be with a lady, man, you know what I'm saying? You hopefully peep her and, you know, get a vibe about her before you even go holler at her. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, under I understand the shots at the in the dark. You know what I'm saying? You see a baddie walking down the street, you know, you give her your digits in. But again, that's still the same thing, right? If you get in the you should be talking, you know, asking real shit and paying attention to what she's putting out. But again, it's all dependent on the woman, man. If I see you moving funny and shit and all that other shit, bro, it's whatever. I'm just being honest with you. What I just said about the Rubik's Cube Codex, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, Ricky, he, he, the way he talks and stuff, a lot of young, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. I know that would be losing some people, so let me uh, clarify what he was trying to say. Okay. Usually for a guy. He peeps a girl, checks a girl out, watch, not stalk. So, I know I said in the video before, the, the threes, the holy trinity, you feel me? See him three times, you peep the chick, you see her, you like her flow, you having that connection in the eyes, you feel me? And she looking back, you looking back, you connect again, holy shit, you feel me? <laughs> Next time you see that person, this is the third encounter. Approaching right the fuck now. Okay? Because that's what a lot of guys do. That's just automatic in our heads, you feel me? Unless they, they instantly feel that they should just jump on that first connect. You know what I mean? And usually on the first connect, that, that can't happen. You feel me? It can't happen. There is an attraction on that first connect too. You feel me? But... The threes make you think about it. Okay, that's the universe calling that y'all need to connect. Okay, in some way or form. Okay, I'm just saying. That's that's a spiritual message. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Nitty, shut up. <laughs> I know you. I know what you're thinking, nigga. <laughs> so, 
as as he's trying to say there is that that um you should already check that girl out and before you approach which usually happens now club scenarios as they say you know girl hot fine look like she down the pound you feel me if you about that life and you on a and scooty booty you know what i mean <laughs> that's perfectly fine too but understand for a man that's not a problem for a female is is a problem a female you feel me as i say you you got a rubik's cube you feel me man hit them buttons right punch that code and you open wide the fuck open you know what i mean it doesn't matter if he's a bad man good man you wide the fuck open you feel me you need to, to enforce your code <laughs> you feel me put extra firewall up there okay if you know you an easy break okay that's how you get to a better man you feel me but saying, you know i need you to wait for 90 days or i need you to wait until i feel right but yeah you going fucking around with the nigga you used to know while this nigga waiting on you that's cold-blooded you feel me if, if you're gonna make the jump make the jump put all cards on the table see if he has a little dick <laughs> you know what i'm saying like what the fuck let's keep going I mean, it's not it's not like it's a problem most of us had anyway. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I firmly believe in, a, in in women like, man, really, if you're serious about it, dude, man, give them, you know, create some mystery about yourself. Make them wait a little bit. You know what I'm saying? That's just the way I feel. All right. Yeah. The sex got to be the it's got to be the uh, the cherry on the on the top, man. It can't be the cake. Um, I wait. I don't mind. I mean, I'm married. First of all, I'm, I'm not waiting now. I'm married. My wife is watching. Baby, I ain't waiting, you know. But um, yeah, if, if it's more to it than that, if it's more to it than that, if it's just not that, then yeah, you got my you got my respect because it's a whole lot more that I'm chasing you down for. Because at the end of the day, if that ever goes away, I don't want to lose my 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 love for you, my intrigue for you. Uh I don't know about how many of you guys are married, but listen, sex is important. It is not the number one thing in a marriage. It's not the number one thing in a relationship, quite frankly, unless it is a sexual relationship. And y'all. Okay, new blood. <laughs> now, before anybody getting any kissy, fisty, fisty, because I know there's a couple females on here watching now. Hi, new subscribers. And. <sighs> Before anybody get all hissy fizzy, majority of the panel right here is married. I think other than three guys. Married for more than five years. So married for a while. Okay. So they 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 still kinda in the old way thinking and not out in the new field of shit because you know in the new field of shit there's a whole lot more to it now. <laughs> Because cause understanding that there's a lot of girls that's not able to connect. Okay? Not able to understand certain things. You know, like girls back in the past, you feel me? They showed a lot more and had the mystery about it. Now, girls just show a lot more and have no fucking mystery at all. Like, bitch, you walking down the street with see through pants. I see your pussy. No pants, just pussy. <laughs> okay? Tacky as fuck. Like, if you're gonna dress like that, might as well be a hoe. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> you, 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 where the pole at? <laughs> you be sliding down the pole if you're gonna be dressing like that, I'm just saying. Anyways. Joking aside. Most of you guys are married. And then someone in the old way. Nowadays thinking girls are hard to connect with. Way harder to connect with. But those guys thought patterns as as to nowadays you guys thought patterns is the same some fucking way. Or they're learning it now. Okay. It has to be more than sex in any fucking relationship. You feel me? We're gonna be boyfriend, girlfriend relationship, friends with benefits relationships, you know what I mean? Just friends, you know what I mean? 
it's going to be something sexual. That it has to be. No guy and girl can just be friends without a sexual thing. You know what I'm saying? This is how girls manipulate a lot of guys. Because they, they, they the promise and the input of sex, but or or the sexual presence. But I don't get that. But they do all this shit, all this shit, thinking they're gonna get a little something. They don't get nothing. That's why there's a problem now. It, <sighs> the good ideas turn sour. Just like every every good idea in this universe, the good ideas start off good and then they turn sour. Now this is just fuck, fuck <laughs> You feel me? You got your females gotta show more for the man to give them. You know what I'm saying? I ain't talking about sex. That's what the whole point is. The sex could be out of the equation. Why are you around? I said this plenty of times before. If you take sex and money out the equation, why are you around? Why are you here? Let's keep going. I got to help me if I say some of these trigger words. I don't want to, you know, trigger the algorithm. But yeah, it's got to be like, I love that distinction. Like, what are you here for? If you're here for life, yeah, I'll wait. I'll wait as long as it takes for us to kind of work these things out. And and technically, I, I mean, when I got married the first time, I, I waited until I was married. Second time, not, no, not necessarily, but I knew what I was looking for. And she knew what she brought to the table way more. It was way more than sex. Way more than sex. I said sex four times. <laughs> hey, bruh. What I tell you? Hey, I'm gonna I'm throw something out here. Some of y'all ladies out here holding out like y'all got something that's that's coming out of Tiffany's. You know what I'm talk, saying? Talk quest. Mm -hmm. Hey, talk <laughs> quest. In actuality, you at the jewelry section at Walmart. You know what I'm saying? Y'all need yeah. to chill out with that. Some of y'all need to just go ahead and throw it on out there like it's Walmart. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's Dang. Question to help. That ain't need help. But there is a truth to that. Ladies, giving them care is a big thing. Okay. Now, let's put it this way. Understanding your body, ladies. Okay. If you know you were getting home, I'm sorry, but when you ask for a fist up your shit, you feel me? It's a problem. Okay. <laughs> okay. So understand that shit right there is just, just to everybody. <laughs> you feel me? And you know some of them stank shits too. Like, yo, wash. Dush. Put some of that primitive shit around that shit. You know what I mean? You need some cream or something. God damn. Feminine care is a must. But also, exercise, hydration, good health is a must. Okay? Now, he was trying to make a joke, but all bullshit aside, it's a must. There's a lot of girls, young girls out there right now that just don't know how to take care of themselves properly. Okay? No matter how much products out there, they don't know how to take care of themselves properly. Okay? <laughs> and you got multiple sexual partners. Okay? Dirty bitch. You need to know your family care. Okay? okay? You need to exercise. And you need to be healthy to be the top pick. Okay? Period. Now, I do got a video covered up next with literal. So I'll save that discussion with that. <laughs> <laughs> okay? So, the point now is that don't overprice the pussy. Okay? We already know the value of the pussy. Pussy is valuable. 
no matter what size it is, how stank it is, you feel me? There's a lot of nasty niggas that'll throw your ass into the river and then fuck you in the river. Okay? With soap. <laughs> okay? There's a lot of nasty motherfuckers out there, you know, that would do that shit. Okay? But. What is your value? Not your pussy value. What is your value as a person? What is your value as a female? As a woman? As a proper queen? What is the value? What is your role? What is your value? This is what females are losing sight of. Now, I'm not saying all females, but there's just a lot of them losing sight of that. And we're just, we just getting grouchy niggas out there. That's it. <laughs> Can't have a conversation at all. Just grouchy niggas. <laughs> Fuck you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so, he was making light of the joke, but feeling care is a must. And a triple plus on every guy's rating. Okay. Let's go. And let me make the distinction, right? Like, I, I firmly believe in a woman waiting. Y'all know my stance on this, right? But again, it's like I said, it's what value do you bring? Like, ladies, if you ain't got nothing valuable for me to present to me, like, you need to give up some pussy. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? If you, like, if the, if the shit you do around around to me as a woman that you doing ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? You, you ain't got... You ain't got your shit together. There's nothing you can bring me. You know what I'm saying? Then you need to go ahead and, and hey, right? Now, if you're a woman of value, you bring me peace, right? You give me, you help me focus, right? You on my six. You watching what I need to do. You feed me. You take care of the stuff you need to do, you know, as a woman. Then that's something worth waiting for. But if you don't have nothing else worth waiting for, how long you got to wait for the barbecue? That's my question. When the chicken done? And that part. Mm -hmm. You feel? If you got nothing else on you, nothing else worth of value that you can bring to me. Peace. Joy. Some 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 clarity on shit. You feel me? Keep my mind level instead of me going out of control. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> Feeding the nigga, you know what I'm saying? I don't have to worry about cooking my damn self. You got it? Oh, great. Oh, <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Shit, roll a nigga blunt for him or something. You know what I mean? I'm just saying there's just a thousand ways you can actually be helpful. Okay, because that's literally all a nigga needs. Someone to help him out. Especially if they're a hard working nigga. Okay? This is why proper relationships. The wife tend to go into shit that helps the husband progress. Doesn't mean they ain't doing their own shit, but it does help the husband to progress, which helps the family to progress. She getting up there, he getting up there. It's the same fucking thing. But motherfuckers just lose the hierarchy shit, and then it's like, oh, fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> so, now, well, he was, uh, 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 I told you he said too many fucking, that's five times, because I said it in the, the thing, and then I turned the clip, and then he was like, oh, shit, he said it full of judge. <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, I think, yeah, it was five or six is the limit, so. I should be good if I don't say no. Call words. <laughs> but anyways, let's keep going. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Some of them ain't even bringing chicken. They bringing spam. You know what I mean? Like, look. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. I caught the pause that time. Hey. You had a knife on that time. Hey, go ahead, King Rio. What's your thoughts about it, sir? I'm pretty much in alignment with Rick. I will say I wouldn't disqualify her if there's still something that I'm gravitated toward without having sex with her. But... I'm still going to be aware that we're not that serious. I'm not going to make a commitment to not having sex with anybody else. Right? We're just dating and we're not even having sex. So that being said, those are the facts. And if I'm just dating and I have 
another sexual partner, she can't be mad at that. Now, if we become serious, then, you know, you start to cut those things out. But if we're not having sex and we're still getting to know each other, how serious are we? All right. So this is where the confusing come in for a lot of people. Okay. Just like when Kevin Samuel says, said that, um, men host relationships, women host sex. It's true. Okay. Females, let me tell you this right now. Your delusion on the relationships you think you have. The only relationships you bond with and have is the ones with your family and your girlfriends. Now, the relationships you have with dudes are not like what you think. And that's been coming down for a lot of people on the online shit. The relationship you have with dudes is not like what you think. Okay. I can guarantee you it. Just think about it. What are you doing for that dude to make him be like that? Don't just tell me he's a nice guy. Mm -mm. All guys do move with motive. Okay. All guys move with motive. This is why I be telling girls you gotta do things with purpose. I even tell my own daughter that you gotta do things with purpose. Everything with purpose. Why are you doing that? Come on now. Now, let me, let me explain. So, it's going to be the last clip after this. So, uh, with a quick one, let me wrap it up. Yeah. You throw all your cards on the table at first, you feel me, and then make it skip out. Yeah. That's gonna happen. The scenario where you get used is gonna happen. This is why you gotta listen. This is why you gotta hold up. Okay. Hear my fucker. Listen to what they're doing. Okay. See the proof of that. The proof of the pudding. Okay. And then understand what can you do. What are you gonna be able to do for this nigga to keep him around? Cause the pussy ain't gonna keep him around. But keep him around for a little bit, but what are you able to do to keep the nigga around? What are you doing to make this nigga's life better for he to stay around you? I know I'm, I'm saying it like three times, three different ways, but it's the bottom line point of it. The same with the guys, you feel me? Hey, your dick can be good as all you want, but what are you? What value are you? Are you a proper leader of the household? Are you even a leader at all? You know, some guys are just not built to lead. You feel me? That's where you know, there are a lot of these women up there picking up these simple niggas because they're not built to lead because the woman had to leave for their ass because they were raised by a woman to be like a woman. Okay? This guy's built to lead. And you guys not built to leave. You gotta know yourself, really. And as I said, you gotta know yourself before you can know somebody else. So once you feel, figure out where you want to be and where you're gonna be, things in the dating world will be much easier. You'll be able to see the bullshit. You'll be understanding the shit. Then you make a proper, informed decision. If you hear and listen, to make a proper, informed decision. I'm guaranteeing you nine times out of ten, and you're only going to need really two, so. This is a smart movement. Let's go. So, so then that raises, that raises the question then, Rio. What happens when they say, well, why should I give you any poom poom if you out here still, you know, slaying dragons? Why should I take you seriously if you still out here slaying dragons? I mean, I think that's, uh, yeah, and I mean, I think that's the difference between us deciding that we're going to be committed to each other. You know what I mean? I don't know that, like you mentioned, there's a test drive that you you ideally want to take before you drive the car, before you uh, buy the car. You know what I mean? And I don't know if that's right or wrong. I I believe that methodology. I don't know if it's right or wrong. 
However, with my with, with my past track record is all I can speak of. I would I'm going to test the car. <laughs> so we won't we won't be together. I won't be buying it and driving it off the lot permanently unless we've had a test drive. You gotta make sure you're making a solid investment. However, I'm saying not saying I'm not suggesting that's the way that everybody should date. I'm not saying that at all. I also want to say this too that uh, a lot of men would be surprised uh, how much of a front that is if you do encounter a woman that's uh, trying to withhold. So, if you are on that time, hey, but, hey, but that- yeah. So that that thing, thing you feel me? for all you known hoes, don't. Don't try that shit. If you a known ho, then understand. Motherfucker gonna find out. And yep. Okay. This is literally what it is. So get what you're gonna get real quick because motherfucker gonna find out the way you wrote. Telling you. <laughs> but I digress. <coughs> <coughs> Gents, move with intention. You feel me? Just, just let it be known. You feel me? If you've been peeping a girl, you feel me? You kind of got a vibe from her. And you feel me? You want to pursue it for a longevity thing. You feel me? Just, just go over there and tell her. Like, yo, I think you you nice and all. And just, I want to make you mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Don't do it that creepy. That is just, no, you get turned down. Don't do it. <laughs> Ah, I might be too high. I don't know. Anyway, so, as he was saying, you got to test drive the car, okay? In any relationship, you know, it, it's going to happen. You feel me? They got to be a test drive. You feel me? They got to be a sample. You feel me? There's going to be something sexual happen eventually. You feel me? This is why guys do not, nowadays, are understanding. Uh, my girl has no male friends, okay? May see niggas at work, but they ain't your friends. <laughs> you got no fucking male friends. And you guys just accept the male friends. Except your girl doing extra shit on the side. That's all you gotta accept. That's not your girl. That's all you gotta accept. And for your girls that's doing that shit, you feel me? Understand, you feel me? You better reassure that nigga that, that he's the only one. You better reassure him. Because it is gonna sit there as a fucking poison for him. Every time you step out with your so-called friends, it's going to sit there as a poison to him. And eventually, he's going to lash out at you. Okay? This is basic rhythm of psychology. You feel me? Forcing a psychological break. Okay? And this is literally... Hey, I took a little psychology in college. I know what I'm talking about. Okay? I even had sit-downs with psychologists. And they were like, why don't you have a practice? Okay, y'all. I'm, I'm saying, I've never needed one because, you know, I work through my shit. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> I'm a grown fucking man. I work through my shit. So, I think I'm going to end the clip right here. I'm going to end the shit right here. So, we don't even need to say any more about that. Like, you know, they had a story that I was going to put in there, but we don't even need to say any more. Okay? The only thing I can say is. Most men are like me. We wait as long as the date. Okay? We're gonna people who like you. If you already getting that carnal urge, we already want you. You feel me? And girls, we already know. You already thought it in your head within the th- first 30 seconds before you even talk to this nigga that like you had that horny feeling or not. And then if you did have that horny feeling, that's why you're talking to the motherfucker. So understand that's already there in the background for both of y'all. Now, the conversation during the day is the in-between part that separates the men from the boys, okay? It's that in-between part that actually, are you going to say too much and make you fuck up? Or are you going to hear what she has to say and learn this woman and see if you still want to fuck that shit and keep it around? And girl, try not to talk too much and hear her do. Hear and listen. Okay. See if you really want to take that chance on this motherfucker.
the show and prove right there. You feel me? There's enough examples out there for y'all to actually get a clue, but you know, ain't getting the clue. So, this is got the shows. And this is why I'm gonna have to dissect this shit because even some of these people on these shows, they wait. Okay? I mean, there's some truth to some of this shit. That's the point, man. Praise God for That's the best of me and I could have endeavored the other ones. Nice. I got the sauce, I got the juice, got me feeling like a bug or something. Jeremy, I like COVID. I feel like a boss when I'm in a room, cause I'm with the static shop, 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 static